Hello, I'm Simon Dinwiddie. Since the start of the epidemic, thousands of doctors, health workers, researchers and politicians have been working to protect us all from COVID-19, whilst also trying to protect our economy and our way of life. The virus is spread primarily through aerosol particles exhaled by infected carriers and inhaled, breathed in, by people nearby. Research has been carried out on various forms of exhalation, especially singing, following a super-spreading infection event during a choir practice in Skagit County, Washington, USA. Wind players have also been labelled as possible exceptional spreaders of infection. However, research appears to concentrate on one problem at a time. This study aims to provide direct, visible comparison of various breathing events, both silent and noisy. Our methodology uses a simple array of sensors to allow direct comparison of various human sound sources, speaking, singing, playing brass instruments and unvoiced breathing. The array is a horizontal bar on which are mounted a set of cake candles at regular intervals. When I breathe or make a sound, the candles flicker. The stronger the breath, the further along the bar the flicker will be seen. If the breath is strong, the nearest candles will be extinguished. Results are presented as two types of observation, the distance over which flickering candles are observed, labelled F, and the distance over which candles are extinguished, labelled X. Of interest are the specific sounds which cause most flicker or extinction. In the first part of this experiment, we explore talking, talking softly, loudly and shouting. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are, up above the sky so high, like a diamond in the sky. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. It's breakfast time, your sausages are getting cold, hurry up, you'll be late for school. You stupid referee! That was offside! Go and get your eyes tested! In the second part of this experiment, we sing at various volumes. When you walk through a storm, keep your head up. And don't be afraid of the dark. At the end of the storm there's a golden sky and the sweet silver song of a lark. Walk on through the wind, walk on through the rain, though your dreams be tossed and blown. Walk on, walk on with hope in your heart, and you'll never walk alone. You'll It seems clear that there is not much difference between the air disturbances caused by speaking and singing. Shouting loudly seems possibly worse than singing loudly. What is remarkable is that all the worst effects 
are caused by unvoiced sounds. S, S, T, T, F, F, K, Q or K, and P, all of which are produced by the voice in exactly the same way when singing as they are when speaking. Now we're going to try some brass instruments. First, the cornet. Next, the trumpet. Next, because trombones have had serious accusations, the slide trumpet. And finally, because it should be the worst of all, because it's got no bends at all, the coach horn. With all of the brass instruments, flicker does not exceed 15 centimetres. An extinction is 5 centimetres or less. So it seems that brass playing is far less harmful than either singing or talking. I would like to try a sneeze, but unfortunately you can't sneeze to water. How about just an ordinary cough? <coughs> <laughs> Coughing shows flicker F up to 60 centimetres and extinction X up to 15 centimetres. This is similar to both loud singing or shouting. Fortunately, we have become accustomed to coughing into the crook of an arm. <coughs> In the last part of this experiment, we just breathe in and out as if we were perhaps an athlete having come upstairs. And then try to, <clears throat> and then try to blow the candles out. Aerobic breathing shows flicker up to at least 60 centimetres and extinction up to 30 centimetres, which is worse than loud singing or shouting. This would suggest that gymnasts, joggers and other sporting people should be kept at a greater distance than the customary two metres. Blowing hard extinguishes candles up to at least 60 centimetres, so you should not sit near anyone with a birthday cake.